Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up, share it to someone you think might like it, and I hope you stay to the end. So today, I'm coming to you with a Ziploc bag filled with some of my empties. Products that I have run through and I'm gonna let you know a little bit about them and if there are products I would actually purchase again. Being on YouTube and using products and, and stuff like that, you don't actually get to run through products and you probably don't get to see me use a lot of the products i mentioned as favorites and things like that because we have so much products coming in all the time to keep trying new things using new things so i think that this is going to be a great video to see like some of the products i actually ran through and some that i repurchase and what i don't repurchase so um it says a lot when you actually run through a product so let's hop to it okay so the first product i'm gonna dip out of this bag in no particular order is my morphe continuous setting spray you guys i spoke about how much i love this product in the past this is not the only empty that i have this is the only one i saved obviously i just need to get rid of these empties in this bag because i'm tired of seeing this trash laying around <laughs> but morphe continuous setting spray is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time i love the way it melts all the powders on my face because i do use a lot of powders i just like the look of powders it makes my face look smoother it fills in my any pores that i have on my skin and this morphe setting spray when you feel like you have overdone it with the powder spraying this spraying this all over your face doing it twice three times it will help it works well for dry skin normal skin it's just a really nice spray i don't know if it helps with the longevity of your makeup but i have done my makeup and gone throughout the day with just using this setting spray and my makeup held up well anyway so i just love this spray it's always gonna be a staple and of course i've repurchased this i buy these here <laughs> here is another one i actually have them i buy them like in twos and threes because i just can never do my makeup or complete my makeup without this setting spray neutrogena body oil this product this product is a staple in my my products as well i love this oil especially in the summertime because it's such a light oil it just absorbs nicely into your skin it doesn't leave your skin greasy at all and like i said in the summertime when you tend to sweat more like using heavier lotions and stuff doesn't work well for your skin so if you still want um to look moisturized but don't want to look greasy and don't want a product that takes time to absorb into your skin the Neutrogena body oil is really nice and it smells so good. It's a light sesame formula. It says it's a share moisturizing experience. It is everything it says. I also like mixing this into like my body butters and stuff like that just to give a little more hydration in the winter time. Like times like, like these, I love mixing oils into my lotions and stuff like that. So of course I've repurchased this numerous times. We have another setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. I buy these in travel size all the time because it lasts me a long time and is not a spray that I reach for all the time. I only reach for it when um, I have a very special occasion to attend. And I did show my uh, special occasion routine. I will link that video so you guys can see. And that's about the only time I use this spray because I don't think my skin could handle this all night of spray every single day. It is that good. It really locks your makeup in place. Perfect for special occasions, perfect for weddings and anywhere you feel like you're going to be in a lot of heat or whatever the case is. But um, it really is what it says. It's an all night of setting spray. It works really, really well. So I always have it in my collection. And of course, I repurchased this NYX matte setting spray another one that I use just mostly in the t-zone of my face after I would have used my Morphe continuous spray because it's more of a softer matte as compared to the um, Urban Decay All Nighter one so this one I tend to use all the time I use it almost every day and of course I've repurchased this a gazillion times like I just I love it it's a softer matte finish as I, as I mentioned and I feel like my skin can handle me using it every day. Make It Last Setting Spray by Milani. This is another one, again, that I feel is suitable for any skin type. It makes your makeup last, but it's not like very heavy on alcohol. It doesn't dry your skin out, but it does make your makeup last well. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is the mister on it, but um, I have repurchased this numerous times. I actually, they actually have the matte one and the dewy one, which I own as well, but this one I've repurchased more, um, most often. Um, as opposed to the others that they came out with. Huh, we have Elizabeth and James Nirvana dry shampoo. So I do use dry shampoo in my hair, especially when I am like in braids, like extensions and stuff like that. I like using dry shampoo in my hair to help absorb any excess oil and stuff like that and to keep my hair 
um, smelling fresher since that I don't wash it as often as I would if my hair was my regular hair was out so I like reaching for a dry shampoo to apply to my roots to freshen my hair I like musky almost like masculine unisex scents and it has that and it keeps your hair smelling really nice for a very long time so I have not repurchased this because it's kind of pricey I just wanted to try it um, I probably will um, purchase this again in the future but I do have other dry shampoos I feel like are cheaper and works just as well so I haven't repurchased this but it is a good dry shampoo next we have the essence last <laughs> can I talk essence lash princess a mascara it's under five dollars and i think this is my favorite mascara of all time it gives my lashes the perfect amount of volume length and clump i don't like mascaras that are too clumpy i love the formula on this i will sometimes sometimes layer this with another formula but this one on its own it works so well it doesn't transfer it doesn't flick and fall over my face during the day it lasts all day a great mascara for the price point and of course i repurchased this all the time I have an X mascara here it's from Colourpop um, BFF mascara this one and I have to say I do not like the BFF formula I've tried the black one before initially the formula feels like something you would like because I mean if you if you're a fan of mascaras you know that when a, a tube is new it can be kind of watery um, the consistency is, is like mascaras are better applied after a couple of uses so the first use you don't get the best effect of it in my opinion because the consistency is more runny so um when a little air gets into it it applies better so colourpop mascara has that consistency that you would like after a couple of uses but it flakes on me it works well it does it gives volume and stuff but it flakes a lot on me and because of the consistency initially it tends to dry out really fast and you don't get it to work as well as you want it to in the long run it doesn't last as long because of the consistency initially if you understand what i'm trying to say and this one in particular this one just never worked for me this one was supposed to be a sort of like burgundy color one and there's no color payoff on it it just doesn't make any sense to me and of course i will not repurchase this NYX can stop one stop concealer. I mean, I spoke about this concealer in my dupes video. I think this is a very good dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I love this concealer. There's nothing more I can say about it. It is not drying. It sets well. It doesn't settle in my fine lines. I feel like I don't hear enough people talking about this concealer. I have repurchased it. I have like maybe four of this in different shades. Very light, a very light formula. It absorbs nicely into your skin and it's, it's just wonderful. My next concealer is the e.l.f. Camo 16 hour camo concealer again. This is like five dollars. I love 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 this concealer. I mentioned it in my dupe video as well I will link those videos so you guys can see it. It is very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape It's a great formula. It dries. It's more of a matte formula and it dries really fast You have to work with it fast, but it stays put. It doesn't settle in my fine lines. It stays all day It's just a great formula That's all I can say about the concealer and they actually just released the hydrating one and the hydrating one is just as good So elf has been doing some great things So check this concealer out and they come in a tons of shades that you show you can find a shade for your complexion L'Oreal infallible fresh wear foundation I mean I don't feel like I need to say anything much about this foundation if you've looked at my channel you know how much and for me to run through an entire bottle of foundation that says a lot it says a lot because it takes a while to go through foundations when you have so much when you have as much as I do I'm, I'm pretty sure I have over 50 bottles of foundation and it takes a while to run through a foundation and for me to actually go through this foundation I'm speechless and I still use it I have repurchased it obviously I still this is my go-to foundation whenever I just don't know what I want to do it lasts very well like a medium coverage but I feel like if you build it up you can get it to a full coverage it never looks cakey on your face it always looks very fresh very natural looking on your face other products layers really well on top of it you have no issues and it just works well with whatever it is you choose to pair it with I have no complaints this is one of my I think uh, my favorite foundation from the drugstore it's, it's just a beautiful foundation it works well for any skin type in my opinion again like I have combination skin I feel like dry skin can get away with it and combination skin because of the finish and once you set your face really well it's perfect and this one has sunscreen in it again so it's, it's just a perfect product um, maybe you should check it out Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer as I'm, I'm a person who do not like extremely mattifying um, primers I feel like they tend to make me produce more oils in the long run I'm oily in my t-zone mostly so this primer is very soft it does a, a good job at keeping your oils at bay and 
it doesn't clog your pores it's like a skincare like finish so it absorbs really nice into your skin there's no tacky residue there's no um peeling from using the primer because some primers can be so thick that they tend to like leave um um this sort of like break up on your skin and leave like rolls on your skin if i'm explaining that right but this one doesn't do that this is a travel size now always just buy the travel size you guys because i have a ton of other primers that i love and it takes me a while to get through a full size because i rotate my primers so much so the travel size is fine for me and of course i have repurchased i would always repurchase this primer my sephora micro smooth powder Ooh. it just fell shall we do this again it's my sephora micro smooth powder um this powder is a staple in my collection as well there's just a tad bit left in it but it doesn't work anymore because it's so flat let me show you like this is what the original the new one looks like like it's baked it's higher as compared to this one this one is like it's really gone through so um it's recommended that you can use this powder wet or dry and i think that's that's why my one has this here because i try to use it wet um if you was to use it wet probably just stick to a certain part of it but i'm not going to use it wet anymore i prefer to use it dry and it is what it said it's a micro smooth powder it's, it gives you a sheer wash of color and it smooths your makeup beautifully and it has the slightest sheen to it the slightest luminosity is what i'm looking for to it so it makes your face look alive and more natural looking and like i said you get very um a sheer wash of color so if you probably want to tone down maybe your highlight if you feel like you went too bright or you just overall just want to just like give your face a final touch up just to buff some powder in to just give that final finish to give you that flawless look this powder is perfect perfect for that and of course i just showed you i repurchased it morphe liquid lipstick in hot shot like of course i repurchased this this is an unusual color to me it's sort of a reddish orange color that complements my skin tone very well i've bought this for friends i've had people i've had people always ask me what are you wearing on your lips whenever i'm wearing this and i just love it so it's a color that i love so i would always repurchase it. and the formula of morphe liquid lipsticks are they're nice when they're new this one is not completely done but the formula i've had it a while so the formula changed so i repurchased it obviously it's a it's a wonderful color i have carmex lip balm the medicated ones like i have the driest lips in the world part of the reason why i'm always wearing something on my lips like i'm once i'm out i'm always wearing a lipstick or i must have something on my lips because if i don't i'll constantly be licking my lips and i need hydration on my lips so i love the carmex ones they're medicated i feel like i've seen the results of me constantly using this on my lips they make them in different um scents and stuff these days but i just prefer the classic one it's medicated it um if you're not used to it it has such of a kind of like a tingling like lip plumping thing to it when you're not used to it but the more you use it that sensation tends to go away so if you were to purchase that just bear that in mind but I, like i said i love the formula it, i like them in any way you I, I also have the one that turns up in the tube um so i always talk up on this whenever i go to the drugstore i'll just grab one or two because i always want to have it because i'm constantly constantly using lip balms and stuff on my lips like always once i'm not wearing a lipstick I'm wearing a lip gloss or a lip balm or something like that. So the Carmex ones are the ones that I've been going, that I've been reaching for a lot recently. Right, so I have some skincare products to talk about here. They're all from the brand The Ordinary. I have niacinamide, two of these. I have salicylic acid and I have um, retinoid. Like sometime late last year, I realized my skin was changing and I was getting the weirdest sort of breakout, not like acne, but weird breakouts and i started to develop texture and stuff on my skin which i never used to have and you know i just chuck it up to maybe i wasn't eating clean enough i wasn't taking care of my gut <laughs> as well as, as i should have and um i probably wasn't too consistent with how i wanted to be with my skin i wasn't paying enough attention to my ingredients and things like that and um also i'm getting older my skin is changing as well and i knew it wasn't anything to do with the makeup that i was using so, so it had to be other elements that was causing my skin to have these little bumps and textures and stuff like that and because i'm a picker i'm always picking and i'm left with hyperpigmentation marks after so i really did my research and i've introduced the ordinary products into my skincare let me start with salicylic acid salicylic acid is 
a BHA I think so it really gets it helps to exfoliate your skin and it helps to break out and with cell turnover and things like that so it gets really deep into my skin and helps any new breakouts and stuff from forming the niacinamide helps with hyperpigmentation it helps with the size of my pores as well as the salicylic acid um, fine lines wrinkles um, texture all those things on my skin and of course the retinoid helps is like vitamin a so it helps with fine lines and wrinkles and increasing your cell turnover because as you get older your cell turnover is decreased and things like that so to keep your skin looking younger and firmer and stuff like that and i must say that i cannot say which product in particular helped my skin but i think it's a combination of all the products that i've been using i do have others that i'm not come like i haven't been through it as yet but all these products used together in a skincare routine of course used at different times in my skincare routine has helped my skin so much i've seen a drastic um reduction in 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 me breaking out like i'm down to like 95 percent um of how my skin is not breaking out anymore hyperpigmentation on my skin has decreased by at least 70 percent i'm like looking for certain scars i saw that they're just not there i was getting like fine lines on my forehead and my smile lines and stuff like that they were getting deeper and they're hardly even there and um I've been like really really serious with these products from October of last year I think and I'm seeing the results like I just feel like you always have to be consistent with whatever it is you're doing be it learning to do makeup be it skincare your hair care whatever the case is um, I'm just learning and really really is really just thinking in that consistency is the best so if you're someone who's having problems with your skin of course see a dermatologist if you can't do your research do your research i did a lot of research and i came up with my skincare routine and i stuck to the ordinary i will branch off to other products but the ordinary has a regiment on their site as well that will help you to select products for whatever it is that you're going through with your skin so um like i said of course i repurchased these i have backups of these because they work so well and as long as they're working i am going to continue to be using them in my skincare and they are very inexpensive as compared to some other brands that out there and they work very very well so I, know I spoke a lot about skincare but it's, it's been something that's very dear to me um, as I'm getting older and as I've been seeing you know when you when things are happening to that that never used to happen to you, you sort of like get concerned because you don't like it you know I didn't like it it was stressing me out to some extent so um, I, I'm always stressing like I always get the question how come your makeup looks so smooth or whatever and it has a lot to do with your skin like your makeup would only look as good as what's underneath so please take care of your skin so in the long run you don't have to wear as much makeup because you don't need to cover as much which is my goal you know to not take on makeup which I, I, I'm actually there you know what I mean so please please incorporate your skincare have a good skincare regimen and you will see your makeup game step up a little bit more because you have great skin underneath so i hope you found this video informative that you saw products that you did not see before or you don't know anything about of course always do your research when it comes to skincare and i'm not just here talking about stuff because i genuinely love these products and as you can see these are the empties some of the empties that i save so i just save the empties pretty late i'm not thought about the video in my head but i have thrown away so much other empties so um yeah so i will list everything in the description box so you can check that out and um thank you so much for watching i'm a nail tech and a makeup artist in brooklyn all the links in my description all the links <laughs> would be in the description box check it out see my work so thank you so much for watching let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next video soon bye guys